South Dakota Republican Senator John Thune joining me now. Incoming Senate Majority Whip, good to see you, sir. Uh, let's talk about the politics around this. Brett Baer mm -hmm. told me last hour on Outnumbered that, you know, the president has had unsavory people around him. There are politics that are involved in that. It's not a good look we talked about for the president. What say you on Capitol Hill when you've got to negotiate some of the politics of this? Well, we, uh, yeah, everything, at least in this city, is about politics, and, and obviously the president has experienced in his first two years in office a lot of politics and the other side attacking him. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I think that all the, um, what we know so far is an incomplete picture until we actually get all the evidence and, and everything is out there and the Mueller investigation wraps up hopefully soon and we'll have a, a more complete and full picture, then people can start drawing conclusions. But we're getting pieces and bits of information and I think it's really hard to draw any hard, fast conclusions until we have the full set of facts and all the evidence. Uh, if there is a gap that is usable for Democrats for according to a cooperation deal with Michael Cohen from the sentencing that we just saw about an hour ago, 36 months behind bars, prison bars, federal level, um, this gap between now and March 6th, what will you do on the Hill as Republicans if Democrats start to, yeah, let's talk to Michael Cohen, let's go after the president with him? I think that the, it's, it wouldn't be surprise me at all, actually, if the Democrats in the House decided to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're obviously we control the majority in the Senate. Uh, I doubt that the you know the Senate Democrats aren't going to be able to call witnesses. That'll be the Republicans that, that would do that in the Senate. So you know, I think that's a, that's a, a real possibility. And uh, if there is a gap there, it's something that they might uh, entertain in terms of you know trying to create more attention to this and, and try and embarrass the president. Frankly, I think the better use of their time would be to work with Republicans in the Senate and with the president on an agenda that's good for the American people, uh, rather than focusing all their time on attacking the president and launching investigations. I think that'd be counterproductive in terms of what's in the best interest of the country. So, and what I was getting at, it, would you, you know, maybe put up any sort of defense or, or something oppositional to what they would do in the House? I think I got a little bit of that from you, because I want to move <laughs> yeah, on right. and talk about democracy. Democrats now. The president sitting down with Nancy Pelosi House leadership and Chuck Schumer Senate leadership yesterday for Democrats. And it, it was pretty confrontational at times. Uh, how do you get something done for this president that includes a border wall system either before the end of the year or beyond it? I think it's going to come down to the continuing discussions between the president and Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. You know, clearly, in order to get the government funded and to get funding for the border wall, there's going to have to be some agreement. It takes 60 votes in the Senate right. to do anything. That's the fundamental math that we have to deal with, and that requires a number of uh, Democrat votes. And so if we're going to reach a conclusion here that keeps the government from shutting down, everybody's going to have to be at the table. And I, I hope that the discussions that started yesterday will continue in a constructive way. Uh, you know, obviously, the Democrats now are resisting any amount, it seems, of border security funding, when in fact, in 2013, many of them, including Senator Schumer, voted for $46 billion in border security Absolutely. funding. Absolutely. In so 2006, Democrats have started allocating funding to, right. to build that reinforced fence line that we refer to as border wall. Let's hear from Chuck Schumer and then I have another question. Okay. No president should ever say that he or she would be proud to shut the government down. No president should so glibly use the American government and the millions of workers who work so hard as a bargaining chip. But that's where President Trump is headed. Do you feel that's deeply rich from a man who earlier this year shut down the government to help out, he said, DACA recipients? Right. Now, we had a, we had a Schumer shutdown earlier in the year, and it didn't end well for him. They, wanted, they were in a rush to open up the government again. And, and honestly, I think in this case, uh, Harris, that the, the Democrats, um, it's gonna, the burden is going to be on them because the House Republicans, Senate Republicans, the President of the United States all support $5 billion for border security, wall funding, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and it's the Democrats who are, are standing in the way of that. So I think the American people will rightly judge that if and when the time comes. But I hope the better solution is that they can come to an agreement about how to protect our borders, secure our borders, uh, keep Americans safe, and keep the government open at the same time. So President we'll, says we'll he needs 10 people across the aisle to join him and join you to get something done. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if there are 10 Democrats who will do that. Great to see you, Senator Thune. Thank be. you. Thanks, Harris. Harris, you too. Thanks.